Old Wayne Rollins, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Rollins Incorporated and Rollins Communications Incorporated. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, we were briefed quite a bit on what we should, how much we should say, I guess not what we should say. And when I talked to Love about, to when she first come down and I talked to her about what I intended to say, and how many people had helped me to get to the place that I am to get this award, she said, Wayne, you just got three minutes, not three hours. <laughs> but there have been a lot of people that has been very in instrumental but one of them I want to remember very much because I still have to live with her. And that's my wife, Grace. We've been married for... We've been married for 55 years and I don't want you to draw any conclusions about how old she is because we was married when we was 10 years old. <laughs> I well remember the first time that I ever was introduced to the Horatia Alger books. We lived in a small farm in North Georgia in a three-room farmhouse. My mother was a school teacher and my father was a farmer. And I had one brother, John, who has just given me this award. And my mother would gather us together the night after the chores were done. We didn't, of course, have no radio or television. And she'd read to us from the Horatia Alger books. She'd read how this boy would leave the farm or leave his home at about 15 years old. And he always uh, seemed like he had to leave. And his mother was a widow woman and she had a mortgage on the place. And he'd go out and have all these hardships. But he had to go out from home. And he'd come back and always pay off the mortgage on the place and everything would always turn out so well because he conducted himself so well. And she'd read these books, a lot of them, three, four, and five, and six times. And we'd sit there, the four of us, my father, my mother, John, and I, and listen to the, we let, till we could know these stories almost by heart. And then we'd dream about the boy. We'd dream about as we'd go walk the six miles to school, we'd dream about these things coming true. And isn't it wonderful that we can live in a country to where a boy can have a dream and by working hard and, high, and holding to high morals, he can be here to receive this award like I am. Thank you.